Lloyd Alexander passed away on May 17, 2007, only two weeks after the death of Janine, his beloved wife of 61 years. He continues to have a tremendous impact after his death. Every year, hundreds of school children in Drexel Hill, Pennsylvania, participate in Lloyd Alexander Day at Arlington Cemetery and visit the final resting place of Lloyd and Janine. Upon his death, he donated many of his belongings and papers to Brigham Young University in Provo, Utah. On campus, there is an exhibit which recreates his home office and displays many of these belongings. Students, researchers, and fans go there to learn more about him. Even though Lloyd Alexander is primarily known as a children's author, he really didn't use the device of writing for children as a type of a crutch. He didn't write down to children. Uh, what he did in his books, all of his books really, is tell a story, in many ways a universal story, from within about human nature. They are great stories, they have great character and great heart, and that's what I think anyone who's looking for a good read should take some time to find out more about Lloyd Alexander. The painting with the books, and there they are. Anyone can read them if they're there. And um, I think it's great that he wrote, and I'm glad I could enable him to do so. What Lloyd's private life was is uh, his and it is what is in the books that counts and that's what will survive because I think the very best part of himself is in those books. These books have the ability to sort of get under our skin and become part of us where there are lots of books that I read and like and enjoy that don't do that and he somehow by locking into these themes and making them so credible um, he gets that result from the people who read them. Lloyd Alexander tells stories that are adventurous and fun to read, but at the same time provide layers of, of questions and complications that for someone who wants to look uh, deeper can be really exciting. And that is a high bar that he set that is one that <clears throat> I always keep in mind when I'm writing as well. I'm really so sorry he's gone. I, I miss him. I will have times when I'm sitting with my mind kind of uh, roving around, not thinking of anything in particular, and Lloyd will pop into my head, and I will feel, again, that great sense of loss. I miss being able to talk to him regularly. If I look at my life, both professional and personal, he has been an extremely important part of it, um, an extremely important part of it. And, uh, and even though he's gone, we'll continue to be. We'll always continue to be. He was one of the most intelligent, generous, and most remarkable people that has been, ever been my privilege to know. I feel as though I've been uh, given a very special uh, treat to have known him and to work with him. He was one of my uh, heroes in a way, sort of an art hero, if you like. You can enter his his uh, writing with any book and then you are off and running. The, I don't think that you can uh, read, I don't think a child can read him without falling in love with his book and then uh, branching out into the rest of his, his writing. To me one of the great things about Alexander is that he doesn't just write high fantasy. He writes such diversity that one of the things I really like about him and one of the things that I think a variety of people can like about him is that he does write diversity. He writes light fantasy, he writes more adventure fantasy, he writes historical fantasy, you know, he writes a great variety. And so I found him to be a great entry point into the genre for a lot of people. Lloyd always said that gesture of putting the book into the hand of the child can change that child's life. And he said, and here I am at my desk, here you are at your desk. You know, here are all these people, you know, 20 years later, we don't, we did that 
we were part of that, but we we don't know about it. But that's why Lloyd that's why Lloyd went to his desk every day because he had stories to tell and he wanted to have that effect on children's lives. Lloyd Alexander was every bit as terrific as his books. He was generous, he was funny, he was warm-hearted, he was thoughtful, he cared a lot about people, especially the child reader. There are authors who you meet them and their books are never quite the same for you because they haven't lived up to the picture you may have in your head of who they are, but Lloyd lived up to everything. I loved him very much. And I think that if you, if you read the book, you know the man.